Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. You guys have heard me talk about Circadence and more specifically, their gamified training platform called Project Ares. And today we're gonna walk you through a little bit of what you can find in the Academy version of Project Ares. And I'm gonna tell you guys how you can save 62% off the price on an Academy license by using my coupon code. So stay tuned for the video right now where we go over the platform. So here we are in the main screen of the Project Ares gaming platform. And this is what you would see if you sign up for the Academy licensing that we are talking about right now. You have your battle school and your assessments and we're just gonna go into the battle school here. And talk a little bit about this. In the battle school you have a media center which is a great resource for all of the different areas that are being covered within Project Ares. You guys can see here we have general cybersecurity, defensive specialization, and offensive specialization. If we click on one, we're going to come to an area where they have many different PDFs, URLs, and even some videos that can help guide you along the way and teach you some of those fundamentals that relate specifically to what they're trying to teach you here in Project Ares. I'm going to go back and we're going to talk about the game room here for a second. In the game room, they also have quite a few different games that relate specifically to some of the things that you'd be learning with inside of this platform. Reg Exile will teach you regular expression. Silitaire is much like Solitaire and it walks you through the cyber kill chain, which is something that is definitely very informative and something that you should know as you're getting into the cybersecurity field. Trivia Loot is much like Jeopardy in the aspect that you pick one of the dollar amounts there and it's going to ask you a question that you then have to answer based on information that you have learned with inside of this platform. Portflow is one of my favorite games that really teach you what the different ports are, what they do, and what those number correlations with those ports are. You'll match up the number along with that specific port and you kind of walk your way through there. It gets pretty complex as you go through it a little bit further, but it's definitely a very fun game. They also have Cyber Vault, which is a game that is uh, designed to teach you the conversions between uh, decimal, binary, and hexadecimal. They also have Psyqual, which is a multiple choice question game. They have over like 700 questions in there. They're always adding stuff to it. It's a very good way to quiz yourself. It's much like I would consider like flashcards almost. So it's really cool that they ha have that platform in here as well. They have Tack Chain, which is another game that really kind of helps you walk through uh, some of the different kill chain methods and how those all work. With the Academy licensing, I'm not sure that Oak Tree is available yet but this is a game platform for understanding networks so as you can see they have quite a few different games here and we can hop into one just so you can see what it looks like i'll go with tribute loot because it's definitely one of the most popular games that they have with inside of the platform and it's one that i enjoy so let's look at this real quick all right so you can see here it looks very familiar to jeopardy uh, you have i'm in command what's in a name osi layer cyber movies internet history and crypto uh, let's just pick cyber movies for 1000 walt disney productions one of hp's first customers used hp's first invention an oscillator oscillator <laughs> to test theater sound systems developed for this movie what is snow white what is fantasia what is cinderella what is sleeping beauty Ooh, HP's first customers, huh? I would want to say that it's probably a little bit older. Let's go with, uh, what is Fantasia? And we were right. So Walt Disney Productions uh, used HP for the film Fantasia. So just some random bits of information there. Uh, let's go to the OSI layer for 600. The BGP protocol appears on which OSI layer? Application, network, transport, or data link? Uh, BGP, I believe, I'm probably going to get this one wrong. I'm, I think transport? Yeah, we were wrong. What is the application layer? So there you go. I'm not 100% on the OSI layer or on the OSI model. So might not do too well on this one. But there's just a quick example of what the Tribute Loot game looks like. So we're going to go back to the battle school here. And we're going to go into the battle rooms. And you guys can see here that they have a few different specific roles. Uh, system Integrator, Network Analyst, Intel Analyst, Linux Basics, Forensics, Scripting Fundamentals, and System Security Analyst. Uh, let's go over to the Linux Basics, and we're going to kick this one off, and then I'll just show you guys a little bit of what is inside of here. 
So from this screen here, you guys can see over here under command line interface, these are all the tasks that we need to complete to go forward throughout this part of Project Ares. You guys can see we have VNC access and SSH access. I'm gonna go ahead and click on VNC access and get this started. So we, I can minimize our VM over here of Kali, and then I can follow along over here with the tasks that need to be completed. So I can go to my terminal, and then we need to use touch to create a file named temp in temp. So we need to see where we're at right now and see if there is a folder named temp. There is not a folder named temp there. So we can type in touch and then we can call our file temp in temp. So you guys heard that noise. We got the check there. That means that we completed that part of the task. The next thing we need to do is change your working directory to temp. So we need to do cd tmp. So now we're inside of the temp folder and we need to print out the value of our current shell. So we could do echo uh, dollar sign shell. So there we go, there's the next part. And then we need to get the value of our working directory. So we're not gonna keep going through this, but you guys can see that this is how this process works. If you get stuck on something, like say we didn't know how to get the value of our working directory, we can click on the question mark and it's gonna give us some hints on what we need to do. So there's usually a couple pages involved here and it's gonna give you a little bit of information on what it's looking for you to do. So if we go to the next page, it's gonna get us a little bit more in depth into what we're trying to do here. And then on the very last page, it's basically going to tell you exactly what you need to type into the box. So if you just type in PWD, that would get us through our next portion right here. So this is one of the battle rooms and specifically talking Linux here. There's many more here as you guys can see. So this is basically that quick rundown of the battle school. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about the assessments. So under assessments, if we go into here, you can see here that they have the system integrator, network analyst, system security analyst, C2 Intel analyst, and the list kind of goes on here. What happens under the assessments is you're going to go under different parts of the, within the platform and it's going to test how your specific skills that you've learned line up to say, let's say a network analyst, for instance. So the first thing that we would do here for this one is go to the Cyquil to play that portion of the game to make sure that you have the required skills that it would take to go on to the next step, which is Cyquil Network Analyst. So you start off at a knowledge core and then you go into knowledge specific, which maybe gets more in depth, more in depth questions and things there. And then from there, you go into the uh, BR2E, which is the battle room easy with hints. You guys just saw that recently with the Linux portion. So this just kind of covers more into network analyst type of uh, structure there. And then the list kind of goes on here. But this basically kind of assesses where you stand with the skills that you've learned so far. So again, this was just kind of a basic rundown of what the Project Ares gaming platform looks like, what you can expect with the Academy licensing. Obviously, I didn't show you guys too much. There's a much more to the platform than what we saw here today. But if you guys are interested in learning more about real world cybersecurity skills that it takes to become a security professional, Project Ares is definitely the platform that you can utilize to gain those skills. If you guys have any other comments, questions, or concerns, make sure you guys hit me up in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. And if you guys are interested in Enterprise Project Ares, where you actually get into some of the missions and get really in depth in some of these skills that you need to be learning to become a cyber warrior, make sure you send me a message because I would love to get you in touch with the people who can help you out with that. That's all I got for you guys today. As always, take it easy.